Let's now explore how to solve number 23 on the 2024 AMC 8. Rodrigo has a very large graph paper. First, he draws this line segment and realizes that there are colors four segments, four cells, whose interiors intersect the segment. This timer, it's a, it's a much larger scale, right? We got 2,000 comma 3,000. And I'm not going to draw a 2,000 a 2, by 3,000 grid. Sorry. But let's just let roughly get a rough sense. Like 2 comma 3 is like roughly here. So let's say that's 2,000, 3,000. And then 5 comma 8, let's say somewhere, somewhere here-ish. So... He colors the cells whose interiors intersect the segments. How many cells will they cover? So let's just mark it here. 2,000, oops, two, not 200, 2,000, 3,000. So there's no way you can actually draw this out, right? You're not going to have time to draw out 1,000 things, 1,000 a thousand by 1,000 grid and count. So the thing to notice here is how much are we going right and how much are we going up? We're going right by 3,000 and up by 5,000. 3,000 and 5,000. So, 3,000, it seems like this 1,000 is kind of just silly. So there's a really cool trick that we can actually do here. And that is to notice that this 3,000 by 5,000 thing, we can just break it up into 1,000 3 by 5. So like imagine here, I'll just draw a simplistic example. I'm not going to draw a thousand. But let's say we have here something like this, what we can do. We can break it up into a bunch of these smaller regions. Bunch of these smaller 3 by 5 regions, right? Because for each 3,000 we go right, we go up 5,000. So essentially what that means is nothing but for each for every 3 we go right, we're going up by five because we have a line. So let me try and draw that in here, right? For every three, obviously this is not the scale. For every three we go right, we go up by five. So let's say this is three and then this is five. So we go up, we go right three, we go up five and we do this just a thousand times, dot, dot, dot. And then, yeah, we do this a thousand times. So the idea here is that if we find the number of squares that it intersects going from here to here, we can just multiply that by a thousand to find the number of steps of going from here to here, right? And let me just draw, let me just illustrate that on a smaller scale. Let's do a six by 10 case, for example. So let me just draw a six by 10 grid to, to illustrate why this is true. So, Breaking it up is a really cool trick in this case because it can allow us to treat each 3 by 5 segment separately, which is something that we can't deal with when we have all, all, all of 3,000, 5,000. So 5, 6, 7. So 6 by 10 here, as you can see. One more. And then we've got five lines in the middle. That's a neat trick you can keep in mind if you're trying to draw grids. The number of width you need is just, the number of lines you draw is just one, might, one less than that. So this is a rough grid. So three by five, so three. Oh, this is five by three, but it's the same thing. It doesn't really matter, right? The number of squares that passes through here and then here, it's going to be the same, right? So we find the number of squares that passes through from here to here. We just multiply by two to get the total number of squares passed through on this entire line. So that's that's the idea here. We just find the number of squares that passes through from, from when you're going up up three and right five, and then we just multiply that by a thousand. And from here it's not that difficult. We can just literally draw a three by five grid and count it out. And hopefully your grid drawing skills are better than mine. I don't I'm not sure if Scottish grid graph paper is allowed anymore. There are some rule changes regarding that, but you can always just draw it manually if needed. Now this actually turns out a really cool formula for dealing with these kinds of situations, but I don't expect many people to know that one because it's kind of, it's, it's not, it's like a very simplistic, obvious fact. 
And that is that if you want to get from some point to some point that's A right and B up, the number of squares you pass through is just given by this formula. And it's, pretty, it's, it's kind of like the same thing we're doing here, and that's kind of how you derive it, using the logic we did here, breaking it up based on the GCD here, right? The GCD was 1,000 between 3,000 and 5,000. And so if you're interested more about that, you can search it up. It's a pretty cool topic. But for the purposes of the AMC, it's not really necessary, and you can just count it out manually, right? So we just draw a line here. Maybe not that thick. And then just count how many squares this passes through. And we can be like, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so one unit of three by five passes through seven squares. And they got a thousand of these units. So our answer, just 7,000. I hope you enjoyed this video.